ALOG welcome back to fundu testers in last we have implemented test script and using that we were capturing a board id and we are storing into a collection level variables i hope you have implemented same on your postman's not a half for right like you are not subscribing fundu testers just keep watching the videos anyways in this we are going to add a test script for a cards comments and attachments api and we will see how we can store a data in a collection level variables and i'll give you a cheat sheet at end of the video for collection level variable global variables and environment variable and we will make sure that uh, we can execute collection end to end without changing any data so let's get started after a small intro and before that don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundu testers camera rolling action we're going to a postman screen in last session we have written this script for a get specific board details api and then we were able to execute this single board api now we will see how this can be done for a cards api as well so i'm going to a card api and here we have create card api so here i have already written the a uh, similar level of a test script in a first statement i am parsing a json response and i am trying to store as a response variable and let then i am trying to capture response dot id because if i am running this api the id is available at the first node and it's a first element so simply response dot id i will get a card id and later on based on the card id i will make sure that if card id is exist if it is not null then i am going to set as a collection level variable collection variables pm dot collection variables dot set card id is a key and card id i am passing as a value which we have fetched from this statement and later on if there is a error then we are just simply logging the error in a console and alternatively for example let's say you wanted to store this data into an environment variable or global variable so uh, it's a pretty much simple syntax pm dot environment dot set or if you wanted to store with a global variable then pm dot global dot set so i'll give you a cheat sheet for this at end of the video so stay tuned apart from this have added basic check to make sure that we are getting a status code appropriate so to add that simply we need to click on the status code is 200 if we click this this statement will automatically get added so this i have added for all the api so now once we are getting a card id then we have to pass this particular card id with next api which are get card in a url i am passing a card id and then update card also i am passing here a card id and delete card also i am passing a card id so we have done with all these four requests now we are creating here card and then we are deleting the card but furthermore we have checklist and comments api so if we wanted to add a checklist on a card then again we have to create a card because the card id is already deleted it will id will be present or with collection level variable but on a server side the data is deleted so this is a tricky part if you wanted to execute entire collection end to end then you have to make sure the data is present on a collection variable the same data has to be there on a server as well because if you are trying to get the data or if you are going to perform operation on that data which is already being deleted then further apis will fail so either you have to make a sequence appropriately after performing after executing all these apis lastly you are going to delete the card or you can re-execute card api so here i am going to re-execute the card api again i am going to execute the card api simply i have copied this http method and i have pasted here and all the test script is same and we are just simply again saving a card id as a variable for a checklist we have to pass card id as a request body so here again i am fetching here a card id and we will get a checklist id from this api so again i am going to the test and the script will be the same at the outer layer only we will get a checklist id i am going to store as a checklist id and then again we are going to do perform the same thing collection variable dot set checklist id will add it to the uh, collection level variables and then else we are logging the error message and then we have added a one test to make sure the response is appropriate and then deleting the checklist when the, based on the checklist id so this id we have stored with the collection level variable similar way i have made a same flow with a comments api so here again i have copied the same api here i am re-executing card api i am storing a card id 
and to add a comment on a card we have to pass a card id with a url so if you will open collection in your framework you will see earlier we used to pass hard coded card id but now we are fetching data from a variable and the similar script i have written the response dot id at the outer layer first node only we are getting a comment id so i'm fetching a comment id then again if it is a valid then we are storing with a collection level variable collection variables dot set and if there is an error then we are simply logging error message into a console and then we have added one more validation to validate status code and lastly we are going to delete that comment id based on the comment id so this data is also coming from a variable so what i am going to do now i am going to a collection level variables and i am going to delete this all the data because this data will newly get created once we'll run the collection so i am going to a collection level and we have to click here and then run collection we have this many apis this is the first folder this api from the second folder and upper cards and and then checklist and comments api we have so here there are couple of options available to run the collection so for example run collection manually schedule runs automate runs via cli so this two option will uh, see in a few upcoming sessions but here i am going to run this collection manually and iteration it is saying so for example let's say i wanted to run this entire set of api twice or three times or multiple times then i can pass uh, data as of now i am executing only once and if we have some test data so in future we are going to pass this data for example here we have a card if i go to the body we are passing a hard coded name but we are going to make sure that this data also is coming from a dynamically or from a csv file so upcoming session we will enhance further more collection but as of now it let it be a hard coded data so again i am going to a collection runner and i am going to run this entire collection so once i click run Trello API tutorial English, it will start executing all the APIs. So it has executed all the APIs. Here we can see the iteration is one. It took, it has 13 APIs and it took 9 seconds, 45 milliseconds to execute all this API. And we are getting a status code 200 for all the APIs. And if we wanted to see uh, the data in a detail, then we have to go to the console if i go to the uh, need to go to view and then uh, show postman console and here we can see all the data is being logged and we can expand the data and we can see what is a re requested a uh, response body re uh, response headers and what response we are getting uh, which is a response body here you need to focus on two things so for example if some api is failing then you have to go to the response body so here if we are passing anything with the response body and then you have to make sure this data is correct because here for example we have passed the data dynamically and the earlier data was not present but we have run the collection and then from previous request we got the card id so we are not sure what card id we got and what card id is being passed so sometimes it will leads to the error so you have to go to always request body and make sure you are getting a correct data and from a previous response if i go to the previous response so this card id and this data has, has to be matched otherwise this request will fail and now i am going to clear the data console data and if you wanted to rerun the uh, this particular collection for a multi time multiple time let's say i wanted to run entire collection twice i want to run all the apis twice then we can increase the data of uh, iterations and we can run the collection so here we will see here you can see the first iteration and then the data it is starting from the second iteration so it has completed all the test and if i click on the first it is showing a iteration one all the apis are passed and if i click on this two so in here you can see the iteration two so like this we can run apis in a collection for a desired times and this is the basic checklist so for example we have a global variable collection level variables and environment level variables so if you wanted to set anything any data here we are setting a data as a collection variable so a syntax is a pm dot collection variables dot set the similar way we have a same syntax for a global level variable so it is a pm dot global dot set pm dot collection variables dot set and pm dot environment variable dot set so just to change the word which is a collection variables global and environment and we can perform a three operations so set get and remove the data 
so for example let's say we have set the data then we can get the data and we can unset the data which means we are removing the data and to set, get and unset we have to pass just a key but to set the data we have to pass a key and value and all this operation syntax will be same pm.set in between we are just changing one word which is a global collection variables and environment variable and for collection and for a global level variable we have one more parameter which is a pm.globals.clear which means it will cl clear all the global level variable don't worry about this i will provide you this cheat sheet you can find in a comment section url and you can go through and you can uh, note it down i hope this video is informative to you and uh, i request you to please enhance collection whatever i have showed because if you are not going to practice your own then you are not going to learn after six months again you have to find a new postman tutorial and you are going to keep struggling the same same thing so i request you if you are watching a video then please try to execute this apis your own and if you have not watched the previous session then you can watch entire play playlist from the initial because this entire videos are in a sequence so if you miss any video then you may lead to some error or you will be stuck so i request you to watch all the videos in a sequence i hope this video is informative to you and if you have any doubts feel free to ask me in a comment section and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundu testers thank you so much